You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. 6.52, time for the morning sprint, and we start with breaking news this morning. Madison police say one of their officers is on administrative leave after a video was found of them engaging in sexual activity inside a squad car. Madison police say they became aware of the video yesterday afternoon. The officer was identified by the department, and they are now on leave until that investigation is completed. A statement from the police department says, in part, quote, MPD is taking this matter very seriously. A bill introduced by Wisconsin Republicans is aiming to let parents decide if their child should learn about programs related to gender identity and sexual orientation. The proposed bill says it will allow parents or guardians to opt out of these programs that they say do not align with their family values. In the bill, a program could include any test, survey, questionnaire, or other activity. Students at Fort Atkinson are now required to wear a mask to school through October. Last night, the school board held a public hearing where parents spent two hours arguing for and against the order before they move forward to require masks. It comes the day after COVID could have played a part in a 13-year-old's death there. Representatives are asking the Justice Department this morning to investigate claims of possible mistreatment of Afghan refugees at Fort McCoy. They claim there is a lack of access to basic necessities and staff speaking in a condescending manner. Our own conversation with refugees have revealed the need for more clothing as well as health care concerns. Madison College and the Ho-Chunk Nation are hosting a drive through donation event for Afghan refugees today. They'll be at the Health and Technology Building from 10 to 1. They're looking for new condition clothing, footwear, personal hygiene items, backpacks, and baby items. Wisconsin's longest serving governor needs surgery after a water skiing accident. Tommy Thompson posted about an arm injury from that incident on Facebook. He's currently the interim president for the University of Wisconsin system. The Board of Regents is currently searching for a permanent replacement for him. I have been fighting all morning and, and he wouldn't let me in the car. Investigators in Utah and Wyoming are still looking for more clues for what could have happened to Gabby Petito. Police in Utah releasing body cam video that shows Petito crying while speaking to an officer back on August 12th. She told them she had personal issues and OCD. Her fiance Brian Laundry told officers traveling for months had created an emotional strain between them. Police decided no crime had been committed and no charges were filed. Democratic Colorado Governor Jared Paulus has become the first sitting governor to marry a same-sex partner. Paulus and his partner of 18 years, Marlon Rise, were married on Wednesday. The couple has two children, ages 7 and 9. In 2018, Paulus became the first openly gay man elected governor in the country. Previously, he was the first openly gay elected to House of Representatives in 2008. Today is National Constitution Day, also known as Citizenship Day. Members of the U.S. Constitutional Convention signed the Constitution on September 17th, 1787. The holiday dates back to 1911 when it was first recognized by Iowa schools. It was originally called I Am an American Day. Up next on CBS Mornings, as part of the Pushing the Limits series, they'll be looking at an artist who uses ocean floors as the home for his creations. See the sculptor, environmentalist, and underwater photographers projects to explore our relationship to the natural world planning out your day look for cloud cover increasing and then eventually a few spotty showers likely into the early afternoon and early evening hours beyond that though cloud cover starts to clear out as we move towards about seven or eight o'clock and that leads to clearing skies overnight with your overnight lows falling down into the 40s your weekend forecast comes with sunshine on saturday and sunday temperatures are going to be warming up into the 80s but our first fall front brings chances to rain as we start to move towards Tuesday next week. Thank you, Chris. Make it a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you Monday.